I wanted to do a quick video here about how easy it is to upgrade a core HL7 product license. In my case here, I have a core HL7 listener. I have a five port license, but I've used them all up and I need more ports. I've got a new profile here that's disabled and I can't enable it because I only have a license for five ports. So I need more, thus the upgrade. Let's get started. The first step on this is always the same. You need to create an activation request. I click the help, activation request, and follow the prompts. It will tell me it's created. I can choose save to a file, etc., or put it on the clipboard. I've already done this, so I'm just going to cancel. The next step involves using the Core HL7 License Manager software, which you can download from our website. Um, anywhere you, you open it up and log in it does not have to be on the same computer as the core product that you're actually upgrading you get logged in here and I can see my licenses my core licenses there's my listeners if I go to the installations there is that five port license that I want to upgrade if I'm curious about how much this is going to cost, you can go into the shopping cart and say Core HL7 Permanent Listeners. I have a five port license. The next step up is an enterprise license. It's a thousand dollars. The five port license is five hundred dollars. I will pay the difference. So I will pay, it will cost me $550 because there will be an upgrade charge. But I do this by clicking help and you go through the move request and it asks you where's the activation request. And I say it's in a file because I put mine in a file. And there it is. It gives me instructions on what to do next. You set the your note field. This is the value that will show up in the license manager that identifies this installation. You put in what you want to do here. And I said I want to upgrade it and send the invoice to. I have to check I've read and agree with the terms and conditions. And I can submit it. And now you'll be waiting on customer service here to perform the upgrade and notify you. And if you need help immediately, you can always contact us by phone and we'll walk you through it and get it all done in about 10 minutes. Once you've been notified that the uh, upgrade has been completed, you'll go back to your core license manager, log in again, or just refresh your data. You'll see, you can see I have only one five port license left, but I have this enterprise license. And what you do next is click the help button. This time you want to retrieve the product license key from my account. I click download the activation key. Since I'm on the same computer here, I'll just do copy it to the clipboard. And I'm done with that. Now to apply it, I have to make sure that everything is stopped, my listener services, etc. Go here. Open the installation folder, it'll open it up in Windows Explorer, and delete the license file. This license file will never be good again. So I trash that, close the core listener, open it up again, and this time it will show me an exception. There's no license, and I'm right back at the beginning. So I click the license button. I need to do a manual activation and I have an activation key on the Windows clipboard and done. There's my permanent license, unlimited ports. I can now go into my disabled profile and enable it and start my Windows services and we're back again. And that's how easy it is to do. It only takes a few minutes. Uh, overall, but you can uh, give us a ring if you ever need help. And that concludes our video. Consider giving us a like and subscribe.